much, Alex. Well, you've heard of cocaine bear, but have you heard of cocaine sharks? And this time, it's not just a movie. Shark Week, Discovery, Net, Discovery Network's popular annual showcase, is examining whether sharks off Florida's coast are ingesting cocaine dumped into the ocean by passing traffickers and what impact it has on the predators. Joining us now is the man of the center of this, marine biologist and host of Discovery Shark Week, Tom Hurd. Tom, great to have you. I saw this story over the weekend, and I thought, this can't be true. Um, but you've reported odd behavior among certain species like hammerheads. Talk to us more about this. Uh, yeah, it sounds crazy, and uh, certainly I, I, it is, but it has a, a real nugget of truth at the center of it, and that is that there is no other area on the planet where you've got so many large predators, these you know various species of sharks, in this area of massive drug trafficking. So the chances of a shark coming across one of these bales is, is incredibly high. And then when you consider that these are intelligent animals, they want to investigate their environment, they want to understand their environment, eventually they're going to have a bite at one of these bales and the effects, well, that's the thing that we were sort of trying to find out, trying to figure out. And as you mentioned there, when we, um, or rather when I was diving in the Florida Keys, we did see a couple of sharks that were behaving slightly strange. We don't have enough information to say that was directly because of drug poisoning, but it is the start of what would go on to be a behavioral study uh, in that area. What was that strange behavior that you witnessed? Well, we saw a great hammerhead shark that uh, didn't seem to want to swim flat and level. Uh, she was kind of stuck on one side and having problems orientating yourselves is, is quite a classic uh, behavioural example of there being uh, something wrong. The other issue that we saw was a sandbar shark, which was doing very, very tight circles on an area of decking on a uh, wreck that I was diving on. And again, things like tight circles, you know, strange repetitive motions, those are classic behavioural examples of something not quite being right. And as I said, we don't have the information or the evidence to point directly saying that is co that's due to cocaine. However, we do know that through us, through our bodies, the pharmaceuticals that we take, whether it be antidepressants, contraceptives, you know, aspirin or illegal drugs that goes through us, goes down through our wastewater systems and makes its way to the ocean where you get this long, slow drip of pharmaceuticals that have passed through us that are starting to get into our seas and poison our, our fish and large predators there. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I was looking. So, so far in 2023, 37 people have been bitten by a shark. Does ingesting narcotics like cocaine make them more dangerous? Does it make them irritable? I mean, I know that, you know, I always say, I'm like, you're in the shark's house, so be careful if you're, you're swimming or, or paddle boarding. But what does this have an effect on, on swimmers? Should they be concerned? No, there's there's no need for concern whatsoever. The uh, the chances of this event happening are as remote as the chances of the true story behind cocaine there. As I say, we have no idea what would happen if a shark ingested a huge load of cocaine in one go, but it's likely going to happen far out in the ocean. The effects are going to be pretty instantaneous as well, and it could go both ways. It could actually cause the shark to become anaesthetized and even fall asleep or it might get them moving very hyperactive and starting to move around all over the place. We don't know, you know, more study is, is very much needed there. But there is no, you know, there's no worry for swimmers whatsoever. I mean, you would have to be in the water holding the bale of cocaine, hitting a shark over the head with it <laughs> to get any kind of reaction in that scenario. So people should keep enjoying the waters. And as you say, it is the shark's house, so okay. make sure you yeah. give them their respect. But there's no worries of a Tony Montana S <laughs> tiger shark running up and down the Miami coastline. I will not be the one hitting the shark over with a bag of cocaine for sure. I'm the one that's in the shallow water. Just a quick thing. There's reports that there is um, more sharks out there now than ever. Is that true? And, and why are we seeing that? I'm afraid not, no. Actually, shark populations are massively, massively declining throughout the whole uh, of the whole planet. Uh, certainly in the, the Northeast Atlantic, some shark populations have fallen by over 90%. 
So the reason why we might be seeing more sharks now is simply because we are looking more. And certainly one thing that's really opened up the world of, of shark behavior to people like myself is the use of drones. They're brilliant. You can fly them over the ocean. You can see the sharks that normally we wouldn't. Uh, but no, there is, there is no uh, evidence whatsoever to suggest that shark populations are going up. In fact, it's rather sad. It's the other way. They are crashing globally. All right. Well, I'm glad you could clarify that for us, Tom Hurd. Thank you so much. Stay safe. I know you're, you're out there in the water with the sharks. Appreciate everything you're doing. Cocaine sharks, part of Shark Week airs Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on Discovery. Thank you so much. Thank you. Of course.